Star Wars 7x7 episode 2704. So Star Wars dropped a new little trailer, really more properly a commercial, for the book of Boba Fett. It's entitled Rain, R-E-I-G-N, and I'm going to highlight some of the new things that appeared in that for you. Punch it! <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So let's start out by talking about the folks in the red jumpsuits. In the trailer that was first released, we see them with the energy shields and the vibro weapons that are attacking and surrounding Boba Fett and Fennec Shand, and there's a big melee that happens there. Well, I'm referencing that particular scene because, first of all, of course, a variation or a little bit of snippet of it appears in this new commercial, but more particularly, there is a scene where a couple of these guys are parkouring across a series of rooftops and I guess you know one possible situation is that they are chasing or being chased and another possible implication is that they are running to join the confrontation that's happening for example so that at least still remains a bit of a mystery but it does look like it is from above the same giant town that we see in larger, far away shots in the original Book of Boba Fett trailer. That's the one where I just went out on a limb and said, hey, let's call it Bestine and see if that turns out to be the correct town <laughs> after all. But there was some question, obviously, of whether we were seeing that town when we see Boba Fett and Fennec Shand down in the trenches there with all of those folks. But yeah, now it does seem like it is actually in that town based on seeing those guys jumping across the rooftop. It looks like it is the same location. And the red jumpsuit also appears in the very beginning of this little teaser. So you'll recall when the door of Jabba's palace cranks up and open and we see two figures walking toward it. Well, one of those figures is Fennec Shand and another one of those figures is a red jumpsuit person and that person is in chains, so is a prisoner of Fennec Shand. Of course, the question then becomes, did she take this prisoner as a result of the big melee that we see in the trailer and in this little teaser, or is this an entirely different operation? Still hard to say, but you know, why don't we just take a guess and say it happens after that they take a prisoner for themselves for some particular reason? I've seen it suggested that Boba Fett and Fennec Shand were actually surprised by being surrounded in that scene and you know, we don't necessarily know why but it seems like it's certainly a possibility and so it also seems reasonable that they might want to take a prisoner for themselves so that way they could grill that person and find out more about why they might have been jumped under that kind of scenario. Then there's a scene right after the Lucasfilm title card where we get to see two speeder bikes flying away from the screen. The one on the left looks like it could maybe be Boba Fett on there, not wearing his helmet. It seems like it might be a bald head on there. Hard to tell what's going on with the other one on the right. There are two people on that sled, so it's entirely possible that it's Fennec and their captured prisoner, but the person in the front of the sled, like the profile doesn't look like it's Fennec Shan's helmet, and it's hard to see the outfit of the person riding second chair in that other speeder, whether there's red in the jumpsuit. So I'm not willing to say that it is necessarily Fennec and the prisoner. It seems like it could possibly be something else unrelated. There's also a brief scene where we see Boba Fett's ship hiding in some sort of, it's not quite a hangar because it doesn't look like a formal you know, spaceport hangar of any kind. It looks like it's just kind of stashed away in some sort of hut or something like that, hut with a single T, <laughs> that is. And as Boba Fett and Fennec Shand are approaching it, it looks like they're in hostile territory, basically, as you know, far as Boba Fett goes, he's just walking around casually, but Fennec has her rifle up and is looking around for potential hazards. So even though Boba Fett seems like he is pretty calm, it doesn't necessarily seem like it's a situation where they are entirely safe. And even though we haven't heard anything about flashbacks necessarily, it sure does look like he is not wearing his armor at this point, that he's in the same robes that he was wearing on Tatooine before 
he went and got his armor back from the Mandalorian, from Din Djarin. So this suggests that we're actually seeing a scene of him finally going to his ship to ultimately track down Din and get his armor. And the last new thing I want to flag for you is the dinner scene. We get a couple of different angles on this than we have in the past. So we actually get to see more of the guards that are standing around supporting not just Boba Fett, but also the captains, formerly captains under Java, the Trandoshans and the Barada and the Aqualish, right? We also get to see 8D8. And that, if you will recall, is the droid which was torturing a droid down in Jabba's dungeons in Return of the Jedi. And we can see a little more clearly that there are six guests of Boba Fett. So the table is set for eight, Boba and Fennec being two of the places and then the other six being filled by these other former captains under Jabba the Hutt. And the last thing I want to flag is something that actually appeared in the original trailer that we saw, but I don't think I really touched on it. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered it. And it has to do with the brief appearance of Jennifer Beals, who is the Twi'lek that we see getting her ear whispered into by another Twi'lek in both this little teaser and in the trailer. It's the same scene, basically. She's playing a character that we know nothing about yet, but just by looking at her costume and looking at the serious metal jewelry and headpiece that she's wearing, she seems to be somebody of influence in this situation. And it's probably worth noting that her casting came as a complete surprise because when the trailer originally debuted, there were stories that ran that said, oh, the Book of Boba Fett trailer reveals that Jennifer Beals is part of the cast. And she was able to tweet out that she, you know, was finally very excited and jumping up and down about how, you know, cool it was to be a part of Star Wars and Ming-Na Wen chimed in on that conversation was just so excited that <laughs> the reveal had finally happened and that they could talk publicly about the fact that she is going to be in Star Wars as well. But beyond that we have no information about her character and whether it's going to be just a one episode appearance or if she's going to be in multiple episodes of the show that is yet to be revealed. So that is what I have for you about Rain which is the new 37 second commercial for the book of Boba Fett and that is going to do it for this episode of the show and it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders, may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.